don't need nothing but today, 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 today. The world is so small till it ain't, till it ain't. During the panoramic, I learned how to crochet, and I crocheted a lot. I made a bunch of gifts and clothes for my friends and family to learn more. After getting more comfortable and better at it, I decided to open an Etsy shop. Even if you don't buy anything from me, I hope you like the items. It's been a fun hobby to get me through this tough time and I hope you can share tips and tricks. I want a Sunday kind of love A love to last So I had this idea to make this like ruffle top. I'm using lavender yarn, just like my sheets, yay. Um, so that's just me double crocheting. I use double crochet for most of this top, um, for like the entire band around and the boob part and stuff like that. So that's just me doing the band around. And as you can see, I sewed it together so that it's one continuous like circle. And then I made the booby part um, to go in between the boobs. And then I made a round so that I have two boob cutouts and it's like cohesive in the back, whatever. And then I did the ruffle part for the boobs, and then I thought it was, like, not ruffly enough. So that's me taking out the ruffles, the ruffle stitches, whatever, and that's me redoing it. Um, and so I did the whole one because I liked it, and then I did the other one because I liked it. And then I cinched and added straps, and then um, I wanted adjustable sides. And that's me with it on. I really like it. It's really, really pretty. Um, and so, yeah. Have you heard of thrummed mittens before? These special mittens use thrums made of unspun wool roving that you actually knit into your mittens. These little loops will form a warm insulating layer that will actually felt to become a fleece layer over time. This is what the inside of the mittens look like and they're incredibly warm and cozy. I can't believe I finally made myself a pair. Oh. 
Let's go. Left foot, right foot, levitating. Pop stars, do a leap with the baby. I had to lace my shoes for all the blessings I was chasing. If I ever slip, I fall into a better situation. So catch up, go put some cheese on it, get out and get your bread up. They always leave when you fall, but you run together. Weight of the world on my shoulders, I kept my head up. Now, baby, stand up, cause girl, you. Hey guys, I'm still putting together my apartment, but I just wanted to show you guys my closet, my yarn closet, because it is a dream come true and I'm just so proud of it. Look at it. Here is my pride and glory. Oh my gosh, I worked so hard for this. And then over here, I just have some art and my printing label stuff. And then I have this area um, with just my regular yarn. But I love this closet. It is so pretty. I'm. Next, it's time to pick up 
stitches along the collar. I worked a very delicate ribbing for the collar. The next step is to pick up stitches along the armhole to create the sleeves. You'll work in continuous rounds and this part is very fun as you build up the length of the sleeves. You can try on your cardigan as you go to see how you like the length. After the ribbing and some steaming, you're done! This is my beautiful ridgeline cardigan. It works up so quickly and the free knit pattern can be found on my blog. Southbound. Now we're in the Pleasant Park streets. Look at the map. It's my yellow,